Hello. So halfway through January, and how are you doing with your New Year's resolutions? Hmm, not good, huh? A couple of years ago, I made a list of things I wanted to do. Create more work, learn as much as possible, make new friends and contacts, read, dance, visit galleries, exercise, etc, etc. I had it all set up with goals, action points, timelines, multicolored spreadsheet, the whole thing. Oh gosh, it was impressive. But in order to get everything done, it seemed that I would have to timetable every single bit of my life to the last second. By three weeks into the shiny new year, I realized there was no way I could keep up with my clever plans. And all I'd done was create about 30 sticks to beat myself up with. Now, goals and action points are really, really useful. But sometimes they can become the focus rather than the tools. You can find yourself completing your actions successfully whilst losing sight of what you wanted to achieve in the first place. I would say that most often what we ultimately want to achieve is a state of mind, such as happiness, fulfillment, uh, balance, security, um, independence, well-being, accomplishment. When I recognised this, I immediately threw out my New Year's resolutions and decided that I would concentrate on just one word, which for me in that year was abundance. This covered so much abundance of time, friendship, money, energy, balance. I lived my life within this context during the year. And at the end of it, I had had a successful business year, written a book, created new collaborations, made loads of clients and contacts. And by living in this mindset, I felt that I had enough of the things that I needed to achieve all the things that I wanted. I didn't get quite as stressed out about all those self-imposed oughts and shoulds. And I found myself open to all kinds of opportunities that I never expected. So whilst, yes, it is really valuable to have something at which you're aiming towards, having a context that you're living in can be far more um, ongoingly supportive for you. So this year, I'm keeping abundance as my word. So which is the word that can inspire you this year?